Oh yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Android phone into a media center on your big screen TV. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing you'll need is a Bluetooth remote. This one's got a keyboard and a mouse. It has lighted buttons so you can use it at night. You can turn that off if you want to. It's also got a touchpad on here. It's got a trackpad so you can scroll up and down web pages. It works in portrait and landscape modes, which is very nice. And it's even got a laser pointer, so if you're giving a presentation, you can point out things. Check this out. This is really cool. It's got the built-in dongle right here, which you plug into the USB port of your PC or your Mac, and you can control the PC or Mac with this as well. I'll put a link to this remote keyboard in the video description. So I've got it connected up to my Samsung Galaxy S3, and I'm controlling the dock here and it also lets you access pretty much any app. You've got a mouse pointer that will come on. Uh, you can use this little scroll tab down here at the bottom to scroll through different things like uh, apps, web pages. Uh, the internet surfing works pretty good on it too since it's nice and fast on the Samsung Galaxy S3 it's going to make a great media player because it's really fast. Also I have been using an Android mini PC as a media player for my TV but the Galaxy S3 is much faster which is really nice. It makes it a lot easier. So, and also uh, Netflix plays on the Galaxy S3. The mini PC, uh, Netflix is not supported because they're worried about piracy. Uh, also the Samsung video playing app works really good. It has support for a lot of formats like DivX and MKV and also videos on the phone. So I definitely recommend that as part of your media player setup. Now we're ready to hook everything up to the TV. So we've got the HDMI adapter, the remote, the phone, and I've got this little stand right here. This HDMI adapter is the adapter from Samsung and you really need this one because it's got a power input and that power input not only powers the phone but it charges the phone while you're watching movies. Now I'll plug in the HDMI here and I'll plug the other end into the USB port on the phone. Connect up the keyboard and I'm ready to roll. All right, all right, all right. And we are here, and this is what the desktop looks like. I just wanted to show you some of the, how it functions. So uh, first let's check out YouTube. And I can use this little scroll bar on the touchpad to scroll up and down my subscriptions. And I can double tap on whatever I want to select it. So let's go to the Smoke and Android. I love this guy's YouTube channel and his editing effects are awesome. I love that. That smoke effect there, sweet. Welcome back, welcome back. My name is Jared, and today we're taking Honestly, a look at YouTube is very functional, but it doesn't look as cool as it does on, say, a tablet or the uh, Android Mini PC, which uses a tablet version of Android. So, uh, if you want to get the cool visual effects, maybe check out my other video on the Android Mini PC. So, I just wanted to show you how the music player works. I can play a song just like I'm on my phone and then I can minimize out and uh, have the song playing in the background and I can also uh, use my widgets on my screen to control the song so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it right here and let's not forget about Netflix this is probably gonna be a staple for your Android Media Center uh, the video quality looks really good the na it's easy to navigate uh, the only problem is the menus getting up to the video are not as easy to navigate, but overall it works pretty well. Thanks for watching my review of how to turn an Android smartphone into an Android media player. I'll put a link to the hardware in the description down below, and uh, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe, and uh, give me a like on the video, that will help me out a whole bunch. And thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.